Actually, that's pretty good. That would make six hours. Oh, hello, folks. Welcome back. I'm the one, the only. I am a hobo, Tom. Wow, look at this. Now that I'm getting my life organized, somewhat. Scoring is going rough today. First half, he was really good. This is a whole day process. I hate these two score items. I never do good. <sighs> Although if I do work 12 hours, let's do some math quickly. 12 hours times 15.75 equals minus. I'm still making more in one day for training than I would an entire week at the job I left. That's sad. Oh well. I'm not talk I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about NXT. Yeah, you can tell on my Gargano you jump a DIY hashtag DIY shirt. Probably a collector's edition. I, sh I should probably stop wearing this. But enough about that. Let's get to some NXT action. We start off Cameron Grimes to the moon, man. I, yeah, if I look distracted, I, I do have to score every so often. And I just have to keep an eye on said clock. So they clock out after 20 minutes. So if I milk it for 15, that's pretty good. I can just say, you know what? These are confusing as all hell. Um, yeah, let's talk about Cameron Grimes versus Solo Sokoa. Uso! Solo Uso actually sounds pretty good. Solid good match. I'm shocked. I'll tell you what. If you come from a wrestling family, there are good things and there are bad things. The bad things is that you're cursed. I've never had good, good things happen from one of those wrestling families. I mean, just look at the Samoans. You have Jimmy Snuka. Not good. The Flares. The death of David Flair. The Hart family with Owen. The the full freaking Von Eriks. The good news is, man, if you're a Steiner or an Uso, or even or one of the Samoans, or one of the younger by Eric. Like the third gen like the like one, two Yeah, third generation, third or fourth generation Von Eric. What's her name's Lacey Von Eric. Man, you have a whole wealth of knowledge to gain from. Again, yeah, the Guerreros. A terrible thing. Uh, Mysterio. Learn from him a lot, I'm sure. Again, you have Chavo, Hector. I think Hector's still around. Chavo Sr. is. But yeah. So Solo can learn so much. Um. And solid match, Solo Sako with a Samoan drop. Uh, going for the big splash. Then Trick Williams shows up, eats, eats a splash. Cameron Grimes, however, cave, caves in Solo Sako. This was a fun match. I didn't run a lot of dogs, I'm like, whoa, this is pretty good. Cameron Grimes is to the moon, eating a cheeseburger. Then Carmelo Hayes just jumps both of them, as a heel should. Then we have Grace and Walla. Says, oh, I'm going to be a tag team champion. Says, Remember, they had to vacate those belts because um, Na the Nash fellow, <laughs> as Jim Cornette put the guy with the prison tats, he like slapped around his, his wife, Princess Kimberly. Hey, Princess Kimberly, I'm single, okay? Yeah, come by my house. I mean, I'll, I'll give you that belly to back suplex onto the bed. Then we'll get some real wrestling on. But yeah, I would never slap you, though. Again, there is a difference between, like, a very controlled belly to back suplex onto a bed where it's 
going to be on like Donkey Kong. But first it's just like a slap. That's no bueno. Uh, let's see here. Then the Creed Brothers cut a promo. Braun Breaker comes out uh, for a promo. He calls out Casey. I guess the one thing I missed last week because I turned off right at 10 o'clock and I had to go hobo. I made my money last week. Yeah. I'm just waking up now. Is that Gacy apparently kidnapped Rick Steiner? How that happens, who knows? Again, that beer is a trap. It's a trap. Uh, took the ring. Gacy throws the ring on, on fire. We'll see what happens there. Toxic Attraction does a interview. Von Wagner uh, beats up. Jack in time for the most part. And then we go back ringside for our next match. Where we have Von Wagner versus Hiro. I think I forget if it's Jiro or Hiro. I know some cultures pronounce the J. Some leave it silent. I forget what the Japanese do. So Jiro. Best guess. Out there in the YouTube audience, let me know. I know here in America we pronounce the J. Like Janet, Jane, Jerk, Jackass. Yeah. I know Spanish culture is, is silent. You like Asus. Um, has like an H sound. Well, that doesn't even have a J. It's Ulius Kaiser. So, yeah. Let me know how to pronounce Jiro's name correctly. I think it's Jiro. I honestly forget though. So Jiro again, um, drop kick to Wagner. He drop kicks Wagner, uh, von Wagner out of the ring. That was pretty impressive. Wagner is, is too big, too strong. Just body slams him. Big running clothesline, multiple elbow shots to Jiro, and then they just ragdolls Jiro around. Uh, Jiro ever hit a swanton? You got a two count. Yeah, and you hit a swanton. That should be like ultimate finisher. Then uh, Wagner hit a big headbutt. And then, of course, finished Jiro off with a burning hammer. Man, that wasn't pretty. What time? Uh, 15. Ooh, I think I have to score one now. So, yeah. I'm going to wait a few minutes. Um, so, this was, for the most part, a... Big old squash match. Tell you what, and you know what squash matches get from me? That's a big old squashed ham sandwich. Man, and I did not do good. No, I know I had some. Oh, man. Wait a second. Correct, correct. Yeah. Agreement from Jason. 50%. Wow, I had freaking terrible there. Next set. Yeah, so this will be 45. Okay, there we go. Oh, that looks so much simpler. I think it's even that. No, they list all. I don't know. I hate these things. But yeah. So that was a big old ham sandwich squash match. Then the next match we had Mandy Rose. Oh my goodness. Mandy Rose, there's, there's, there's perfectly sh shaved down there. Gentlemen, do you like a woman who's like perfectly smooth down there? I don't. It looks kind of out of place. I like to see a little something there. Dakota Kai, she's Australian. Yeah, she probably lets it all go. Um, they start off this match. Yeah, it was, it's Mandy Rose versus Dakota Kai. There's a tie up into the corner. Kai shoves Mandy repeatedly into the turnbuckle. Those turnbuckle pads are kind of comfy. They're like big fluffy pillows. Mandy's good at selling. Um, yeah, Mandy just... The Telly Savalas, super Brazilian wax. You can tell there's, I don't know how those bottoms stay up because nothing besides her 
curvaceous hips are holding those up. And her big round, juicy bootay. Um, yeah, as Kevin Hart mentioned, he would stick his face into those parts so deep that King Arthur couldn't even pull it out. Shout out to K Hart. Yeah, I, I gave him a. Oh, yeah, did I, anyone say anything? This, I forget if I need a shout. Nah, I'm good. Shout out to K Hart, though. Makes me laugh. Uh, kind of sloppy. There was a really slow crucifix bomb. Looked really contrived by Dakota Kai. Um, then eventually, Mandy Rose rolls to the outside. She needs a little breather. Dakota Kai takes out all of Toxic Attraction. I'm not seeing the thing besides. Gigi's hair color. I'm not really getting it. And the other one, I don't even know what her name is. Yeah, um... What was I? Yeah. Man, you hit the gory bomb, some body scissors then. Kai hit the scorpion kick. Kai over the back. Backstabber. The, um... I don't know. Dakota Breaker, Kai Attack, whatever it's called. Mandy hits the running knee. The Bumaye. Oh, no, not the boom. Oh, almost the Bumaye. Or the running knee, the shiniest wizard, whatever you... It's not the shiniest wizard, though. Shiniest wizard belongs to one person. That's Nixon Newell. Uh, Mandy Rose won. It was an okay match. Ham sandwich. And Gacy, oh, he took a burning piece of metal out of a fire. I hope that was gimmick somehow. That will <laughs> leave a mark. Ouch, I can't even imagine doing that. That's just brainwashed cuckoo-ness. Then we had Cora Jade come out. She was so happy to be here. Mentions all the women before her that inspired her. Now she was that little girl, and, and Natty gave her a hug sometime or something. Natalie shows up crying. She's like, oh, I'm so touched. Man, the kid has to get her knocked up somehow. She needs to have, like, kids. I'd help her have kids. But, yeah, um... <laughs> Corey Jade's gimmick is that she's a regular fan of the wrestling ring. However, now you turn on her. Yes, regular fan should not be in wrestling rings. You should be a professional about it. Puts her in a sharpshooter. That's the end of that. A uh, little Briggs Jensen and what's her face? Promo. Um, Draco Anthony versus Zion Quinn. A lot of strikes. That irreverent slap. And then and mocking the haka. Oh, you do not do that to a Samoan. Bad juju happens. Zion, the Samoan drop, the running form. And that was really it. People mentioned this was kind of weak. It was weak. It was a can of soup match. Then we have the gauntlet match. And as always, I'll rate the gauntlet match as a whole. And I'll break down some of the matches in said gauntlet match. So we start off the Creed, the Creed Brothers... Versus Legato del Fantasma. Oh my goodness, this was actually really good. You have some good wrestlers. Raul Mendoza's, he's like Del Toro now, is, a, is so good. DJ Z, Joaquin Phoenix. Or Joaquin, whatever his name is. I still call him DJ Z. Still so flippy. The Creed Brothers, so technically sound though. Their collegiate style wrestling is freaking amazing. It's off the charts, as well it should be. Um, but uh, Legado Fantasma gets a fast start. DJZ just like flies left and right. Uh, they double team the one Creed brother. I was calling Creed brother one, Creed brother two. The corner DJZ does like a flippy senton thing. Raul, the rolling moon salt. Oh, Raul Mundoza's. He's always been one of my favorite wrestlers in NXT since he was Raul Mendoza as a single. One of the best matches. If you ever want to see a great technical wrestling match, a really fun, fast-paced match, watch Raul Mendoza. Go back into my library. Find Raul Mendoza 
versus Roderick Strong matches. Those, those were the best. Uh, and then the Creed brothers get get back in, get control a little bit. They hit the double ankle locks. <laughs> the one created the inside out German suplex. That looks so vicious. Um, Then geez, Raul jumping cross body. DJZ hit a 450 splash. Somehow the Creed brothers pull it out though. And I'll tell you what. Surf and turf match all the way. Then we have the Creed brothers versus um, Briggs and Jensen. Oh! When what's her face was coming to the ring and what's her face was leaving the ring, there was a cat fight. Violence. I wanted to see something get ripped off, and I want to see something pop off. Yeah, the uh, Creed brothers take on Briggs and Jensen. Um, it's just they just say, "Hey, good match," and a brawl ensues even before the ring. Creed somehow goes through the table. Uh, Briggs and Jensen, I thought they were going to win. They did the double shoulder tackle, the reverse atomic drop, big boot combo. Again, the Briggs and Jensen, they're also growing on me. They have a great chemistry going. They have good double teamwork. Uh, the Creed brothers. However, with all that being said, the Creed brothers, again, just German suplex the heck out of them. Come back, classic wrestling moves. Belly to back suplex. Big belly to belly suplex. Wear down Briggs and Jensen. Again, the Creed brothers have the advantage. They they are a little bit more cardio. They've only had, had the one match, a good warm-up match for them. Creed brothers win that match. Cheeseburger match. Then it was the Creed brothers taking on, on then Waller and, and Sang comes out. Sam, for the most part, he just comes out, clobbers people. The big head, the, the big boot, the headbutt, Waller, he has this fake injury. He's like, yeah, I can't participate. You know what? I'll let my man. And all of a sudden, he takes off the arms. He's like, yeah, I, I can use this. Whap. Now, Waller used to belly to back suplex. That had to hurt. Uh, the one Creed picked up. Sange dropped him in their double team finisher. Creed Brothers again win, except for now they're really selling the exhaustion, which is good. Solid cheeseburger match. Then the last scene was pretty deadly, and I'm like, oh man. Yeah, pretty deadly is going to win, because they just came from NXT UK. I guess. Um, pretty deadly. Again, they just hit elbow drops left and right. The double team. The running knees. Again, they're the fresh of the team. Big European uppercuts. Creed Brothers still can belly to belly anyone they want to. Um, again, pretty deadly pop up. The, they hit that pop up gut buster. Floating, ri gut, uh, floating ribs or gut buster. I think it's one of the same. And ouch! Oh, one of the Creed brothers hit that shabbat ass headbutt. That always creeps me out, man. Uh, Pretty Deadly did the Spilt Milk. It's a horrible name for a finisher. Pretty Deadly win. They're your new champions. And meh. And ham sandwich of a match. Overall, it was a pretty good gauntlet match. The first half was a lot better than the second half, though. Cheeseburger gauntlet match. And that was NXT for you folks. Um, I won't be going live tonight. Maybe live tomorrow. We'll see. It all depends on if I qualify to score. I'll tell you what. It's not looking pretty, though. Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, 5 out of 10, 1 out of 10. It's no bueno. I actually do better on this set. But still, I'm going to be taking on more money. I'll be taking home more money than I'm going to be earning 
at that other freaking job. So I can't complain. That gives me something for the 29th. Pretty good. Um, even with a few weeks off. Yeah, because it would only be this week. One, two. That ends. Maybe they pick me up for science. We'll see what goes on. My life is pretty good though, so I